A bus lane in Auckland's new market is generating around $12,000 worth of fines a day. The Automobile Association says it's a huge amount for a small bus lane and the council needs to find a way to get infringements down. Ashley Yates has more. The lane of pain. I describe this road as messy, chaotic, uh, dysfunctional. Last year, Logan Kingsbear was caught four times in this bus lane on Auckland's Kyber Pass Road. His overall bill, $600. The right lane in this uh, stretch of road gets quite congested and quite chaotic, and you can only see the lane at the top of the lights to go right. The lane to go left is actually hidden, so I went in the left lane, which turned out to be the bus lane. The whole lane measures just 160 metres, but get caught driving 50 metres on it and you're stung with a bill of $150. It generated $4.3 million in fines last year alone. It's a huge number. To us, it seems way out, out of whack with, with other bus lanes. The AA says this particular bus lane has been a problem for years. It's a very tricky intersection for people to navigate, um, particularly when it's really congested. Many of those caught have accused Auckland Transport of revenue gathering. In a statement, Auckland Transport says revenue is not its focus and that the goal is to help Aucklanders travel effectively and efficiently through Newmarket by bus. It says it will carefully consider requests for improvement from the community. There's a real problem here and you know Auckland Transport role is to, is to serve all users of the transport system. I think that they need to take a look at how they can make it easier for people to comply so they can get those infringement levels down um, as well as keeping the bus lane flowing freely. For Logan, he acknowledges he was in the wrong. Observe the signs. Don't assume that, like me foolishly, that there's seven to ten or four to seven um, and just don't drive in bus lanes. A tough lesson, which this motorist may be about to learn soon. Ashley Yates, News Hub.